Hey, welcome back to the Blitz. Okay, one team that's just been steamrolling yeah. so far, the Beeville Trojans. They are, and you know, this team undefeated still on the season in our top five for the Blitz rankings, the large schools, and they're looking to keep things going. Yep. Let's hop on into those highlights. <laughs> Beeville on the road facing the Bernie Greyhounds. Uh, not our typical highlight here. We got it up from the, the 50. This is called the 50 camp. Here, both teams, uh, it's a fumble here. Weird, like, kind of slips out of his hands. Like a tuck rule like type, eating, you know. Like eating popcorn, the buttery hands. <laughs> Caleb Bozart picks it up, so Beaver with the ball. And Devin Palacios, one-time three sports athlete of the week with the big gain there. And that would pay off because Seth Gomez says, slot T this. Jalen Spicer, touchdown Trojans. They go on to take the lead, and Beville goes on to remain undefeated on the season. They get the win, 33-17. All right, let's head out to Ben Bolt as they welcome the Three Rivers Bulldogs to town. And here the Bulldogs already up 21-12 in the third when the big guy, Alex Amaro, with the big gain. Then later in the drive, Bulldogs trying to punch it in. Zachary Davis getting close down to about the two yard line or so. Then that would set up this. Brandon Kahn, the quarterback with the keeper up the middle. Three Rivers goes up 28 to 12 in the second half. Ben Bolt trying to get something going at home. The Badgers, CJ Flores with the handoff and trying to bust through the Bulldogs defense. He does get the first, but that drive would eventually stall. Then watch this right at the Blitz cam. Amaro again. This is a whole lot of football player coming right at Preston, our <laughs> photographer. And hey, first down as he takes kind of the pile with him. Now it would set up this. Ezra Acevedo with the score. Three Rivers goes up 35-12. Let's take a look at the final. 41-18 Bulldogs get it done. All right, let's head out to Woodsboro. Fremont in Woodsboro. Nice matchup here. A lot of turnovers in this game. Trey Davila fumbles it up there, and Woodsboro's Jordan Mackey with the recovery. We love you out there, Woodsboro. Woodsboro would turn the ball over plenty of themselves, too. Roger Gonzalez passes there, and Jordan Gonzalez picks him off. Nice gain there for the Cowboys. Woodsboro. Now, looking to get things going offensively. Jordan Mackey, you know, pick up a nice game here for the Eagles, a first down. Problem is, Woodsboro would not find the end zone in this one, and <laughs> that would wind up biting them. And we had a little delay in this game. Dog on the field, and ouch! <laughs> ouch! <laughs> He gets bent. Uh, it's not funny, That's but it is I hope his figure's okay. Ouch, he Get gets a bent, shot. and the Cowboys will wind up biting back on, Wood, on Woods, bro. Here, nice game, Trey Davis, right in front of the Blitz cameras, and later, Premont on the drive. It's Lucas Rogers, former three sports athlete of the week. He gets in for the tutty, and Premont had plenty of touchdowns on the night. They go on to win the final score, 41 to nothing. All right, so uh, Travis, getting back to Beeville, they are in the driver's seat yeah. for that district championship. They already beat uh, Lavernia, who was you know the big dog in that district. So uh, Coach Chris Sosa's team looking to finish strong now heading into the playoffs. Looks like as the district champion. And one other note, we still don't have a district champion or front runner <laughs> in that 15-5A Division One because Vets and uh, uh, Miller. Miller are heading to double overtime wow. 